This is a Fish Mountain Project. wildlife management area September 22nd which is public lands day uh, so we're celebrating public lands day with uh, a little bit of a squirrel hunt on our nearby public lands here in Virginia hopefully we get something Andrew's got the 22 I got the shotgun what do you say Andrew let's go let's go get him Alright, so Andrew spotted this, uh, this snake here. Now, if you kind of look at its back, you know, you'd almost think it's a copperhead, but it's a dark color. This is a small guy. I think it's a water snake. Good spot though, Andrew. You want to grab it to see if it's a copperhead and maybe it'll bite you? Um, Probably not a good idea. I think huh? it's a good idea. Unless I like grab it by the neck. But that's... Still not a great idea. Yeah. Look at the way he's kind of flattening his face though, his head. I would think at this size, if it were a copperhead, it'd still have a yellow tip on its tail. Yeah. But this is a darker color. It's not quite a, a copperhead color. So I believe that is a water snake. Okay, so now that the snake is moving, if you look at his head, see he's, he's much more just, you know, has a round head. I don't know if you can see it very well. But uh, when he was frozen there, afraid of us, he flattened out his head to make himself look bigger, maybe even to make himself look a little more like a venomous snake. But now, as he's moving, you can just kind of see how he's this cylindrical shape to him. That's kind of cool. I was walking behind my dad so I don't walk into any spider webs because he's been walking into quite a lot. And this is why? There you go. Big old monster spider up there. He was down here on his web, but he ran away from us. Oh, cool looking one. Mm -hmm. I think he's blurry in my video. It's hard for the camera to focus on him. Some of the things we also like to do out here is find mushrooms and sometimes if we're prepared we take them home and identify them. We just found a big fluffy one. That's really weird. We'll have to see if we can figure out what that is. That's a funny one, huh? Should he get it? So, Andrew, do you have any funny jokes? Um, no. What did the army say to the sleevey? Um, That's not how it goes. Where do you hide an army? In your sleevey. That's how it goes. Dang it, I messed that one up. What did the snowman say to the other snowman? Smells like carrots. Oh. <laughs> you have any jokes? Um, not that I can think of at the moment. Yeah. All right, no jokes. So when I was Andrew's age, I'd go hunting with my dad. We were out in Wyoming, so we were hunting you know, in the mountains for mule deer and elk. Mm -hmm. And we would spend the whole day 
hiking up one ridge, down the other, hiking up another ridge, down the other. After several years, never shooting anything, just hiking up the ridge and down the other, I stopped calling it hunting. We weren't actually hunting, we were just hiking with guns. All right? So here, we don't really have ridges. We're, we're walking on pretty much flat ground the whole time. But, uh, so I don't know if we can call it hiking. So what would you call this, Ander? Um, what are we doing? Walking in the woods with guns. Yeah. Just going on a walk with guns. Yeah, that would be what I would call it. Just walking. It's hard to call it squirrel hunting. Yeah. When you go out and you go out and you don't ever actually shoot any squirrels. Mm -hmm. But, uh, is it still fun? Yeah. I hope so. I think it's fine. I think we should peek back into this little hole here and grab that cool looking mushroom that you saw last time. Yeah. Let's that's... go check that out. So the local uh, wildlife management areas in Virginia have these pathways that they clear out and mow. It kind of makes it possible to move around in the woods, especially in the summer and early fall. You know, as we look out through there, that's probably where all the squirrels are, but it's pretty thick, hard to get through. So we've been following this trail, you know, still able to peer in and look at the, the trees and see if we see anything, but makes it a lot easier to actually walk. We found a lot of mushrooms. This one's my favorite. It's poofy like a marshmallow. Big poofy marsh mushroom, marshmallow mushroom. Maybe that's what it's called. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess if you don't hunt or don't kill any squirrels on a squirrel hunt, at least you can gather up some mushrooms. We're gonna take these home and identify them. I think we've got uh, American Caesar, I believe is what this is called, along with those two. This is kind of a cool, cool looking one. Um, I have no idea, that one's got like pokey stuff on top. But uh, mm -hmm. kind of fun thing, you know, you can just kind of collect some mushrooms, identify them. If they're edible, maybe we'll give them a little try. If uh, they're not edible, we will not eat them. But uh, primary thing is to identify them first, make sure better safe than sorry. But uh, anyway. All right, so we just finished up our squirrel hunt. You're like holding it really wobbly. What's the problem? I don't know. I'll fix it. Maybe I need to stop hitting the potholes. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we just finished up our squirrel hunt. Um, didn't shoot any squirrels. We saw a few, just for like a split second as they darted across the trail. Couldn't catch them, couldn't figure out which trees they went into. Never saw them again. But uh, still had fun, I think. Yeah. We had found a bunch of mushrooms. We saw some pretty cool spiders. Um, we... What else did we do? Um, snake. We saw a cool oh, yeah. snake. Got yeah. some video of him. Mm -hmm. um, but mostly, you know, just hiking out in the woods. Yeah. With Ander. It's pretty fun getting outside. Better than uh, sitting on the couch watching football, you think? Kind of. Maybe not. Well, yeah, it is. <laughs> we did watch Notre Dame beat up the Wake Forest Demon Deacons earlier. You're holding the camera crooked. You gotta hold it like straight. There you go. And it's one of the things I like to do. It's September. You know, really the only thing we can get out and hunt are squirrels. Um, but it's kind of an opportunity to get out in the woods a little bit, especially in spots that we haven't been before and see if there's any area that we feel like would be a good, a good place to set up a deer hunt. I don't know if I saw anything today on that trail that would be 
be great? What do you think? No. No. Didn't see any deer. Didn't see any deer. Saw... Not a lot of clear, you know, places you could see very far. There were a few, but but not a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know if we would necessarily go there to deer hunt, but uh, we'll keep at it. Do another good few squirrel hunts coming up here in October. Yeah. Hopefully get us something. What do you got to say, Ander? You mean good? Um, What's the best part do you think about getting out in the woods? I think just the site's pretty cool. Like the trees are kind of cool, but the river was awesome. It's pretty. Getting to that, little, like that. that little stream is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, water is always pretty for some reason. <laughs> I like water. I want water. You want water? We forgot yeah. to bring water bottles. Oh, that was Anders' job. His fault. Apparently, it was mine. <laughs> but uh, anyway, good little walk in the woods. See y'all next time.